is a land filled with milk and honey and blessed with a beautiful local government area like Ibno. Ibno is located in the south-south part of Nigeria, blessed with large body of water and is one of the largest fishing settlements on the Nigerian coast. Ibno lies in the mangrove forest belt of the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. It is bounded in the west by Eastern Obolo, local government area, to the north by Ona, Esereket, and Eket, to the south by the Atlantic Ocean. Ibno has a population of about 75,380 persons. The major economic activity in Ibno includes fishing. Fishing is the most common type of seafood in Ibno. Seafoods are edible aquatic life found in bodies of water. Common seafoods in Ibno include fish and their varieties are catfish, barracuda, salmon, mackerel, yellowtail fish, soul fish, snake fish, hammerhead shark, longmouth shark, prawns, shrimps, crabs, Octopus, which the locals call chili lo, oysters, clams, and turtle. The various seafoods can be sold at different prices and money gotten from it. That is why the locals treasure seafoods like diamond. If you are talking of fish, this is mackerel. Okay. Mackerel fish. The dry one. Yes, the dry mackerel. No, this one is dry one. It's mackerel. This one is the small, small paracuda, okay. as we call it, a uh, ekoi. And this one in other let is a quad. Mm, this is a quad and this is ekoi. Then this one is yellow tail, which we call it ikpok pok. Wow. Mm -hmm. Which this one is the small, small cat fish. This is also the mackerel. I've sell the big paracuda. It's always long. And this one is shark. We cut it in pieces. Let me show you the head of it. Mm, this is the shark. See, we have the small ones. This, we have many. Shark is of many kinds. Kind. This one is shark also. The head of this one is small. Why this one? The head used to be flat. We call this one hammer head shark. Hammer head shark. You know, it, it looks like a hammer. You see how it is. We call it hammer head shark. Why this one is the long mouth shark. This is the head and this is the tail. Let me just fix it for you to see how it looks like. This is a full cut of it. Mm. Let me show you. You now come to see the tail. This is the tail. As one full fish. Mm -hmm. As one full fish. So, as I was saying, this, this one is croaker. This is the style we do it. You give me that uh, soul fish. This is croaker. This is croaker. We call it, no, bring the basket. This is the croaker. Why we call it a pina? Do you know that one? That is that a pina. This one is soul fish. We put it by 20 and the cost is 5,000. The mackerel here is 10,000. Why this is the small um, barracuda? I think you know Akpanata now. The barracuda, we call it Akpanata. It does not mean that it's the only person that eats it. All. Everybody eats it. You know the name is Akpan Ata. <laughs> Akpan Ata. It does not mean that it is the only person. Everybody is very free to eat Akpan Ata, but the name is Akpan Ata. <laughs> so for that, I'll sell the big one, but this is the small one. Mm, this is the small. This is the styles we do it. We still want any style you want. We will do it for you, but 
here in our market. This is how we do it. And why we call this one is for it to dry fast. If you still want even this one for us to dry it full, even the big barracuda, we do it any style you like. So, come on, Ghana, more bigger, more. Nineteen years, sir. This is my friend. Inye ngagi ni ni saja kaje sugoro. Si ada apa si aku kontrol. Anak ngagi ni kemudian ketua fiang ijoji, fang fiang ijoji. Enang aku fang fiang ipa, fiang ini enang aku. Uruan enang luar. Si inye ngagi ni ada ini saja kaje fang uruan. Anak ngagi ni saja fang anak ngagi ni saja. Bom bagoji. Ari inuakpa, inuakpa aja dia kerja di, dia mang dia mang gu gua ram, umur je sebab mi pagu sen, oh sebab kanan ram menwe cuma, ada gua ram bom bagu gochi ero, ari inuakpa ifono, so jemu ni inuakpa, na fon emeru dok inuakpa na fon, aku ama yang fon bom bagu gua ni ramal ya, aku ram bom bagu gua ipa, ari ino, kag ba fuge mi dong um kuantum. Ati kau ini naik mampi, saya mampi ada. Ewa dah frevan kau, saya bukan kama. Ema naik siang nengwe. So, fakam mana ferayet? Aku fakam bahasa, aku pengen kau mna bahasa ada rulis yo, there's a release and the rest. But after release nengwe, mampu tak? Mampu segi sungor. If naik mampu one million kau bukan kama. Ewa fakam ini mau return on afiaba. So mampu iparo, si, inuakpa, ajaripa, ada ino, ada kuaram kau. Because it's not a business. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice the way that it doesn't have problems with the captain in the sea and with your customer. And secondly, when you do, God carry you successful and come back. You don't come back and you get losses. The way that, as you mean, you buy, you Two thousand. Come and sell it. One thousand. Or lesser than that. Through this business, we feed our families. So, like me, I train my child. He's a undergraduate. Very not enough day. Sometimes we make two thousand, three thousand a day, depending. I think we born now that this business we do. We they make money fine fine because now you be the job. We they send children to school, do another business for this fish. The residents of Ibno use the seafood to cook and sell various meals to tourists and indigents in Ibno local government area. You know who think I'm a because the man can't ban through can't give any already. Any usuri so depends on your money min to me so nge tongo tongo last year this year in am one year i know of Oh, you know, for and you been born here, and So even since you have been here, even Kanga, me ban sito, oboro oboro ko, idi idi biya. Nevertheless, seafoods are not just consumed or eaten by locals. The process of getting it is rigorous and filled with many challenges. When there was bad boys. In the channel, where we used to go yes. some, some time, the bad boy will come and attack us and collect the item that we carry. Okay. So after that, with the union here, they call and give everybody the, the enter meeting concerning the bad boy issue. So Aje pun sing eti-eti, family yang wesi coba orangnya nuwo. Eko ma yesen ema, eki ni biar eh million dua, eki ni biar eh million jen. But kak batre, anjen senduk be, ini ni ke certain amount. 
Et comme ça, on a bien fait. On a fait un peu de temps. 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 Mais après avoir fait un peu de temps, on a fait un peu de temps. 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 A chinyege prepared, life safe. Se kemira o most bentoro. Angwe kemira nyang edisyo. So a frevre ro folke fo isom. Ana kukbe. Nkbo takara na fama. The rigs on the high sea is numerous. Thus fishermen, captain of boat and sea travelers, have to be very careful admitted. Searching for these diamonds, preserving it as well, selling it to customers. When they bring the fish from sea, then they will come sell and finish. They will come out them. Come here. When they put them, we get lights. And this kurun, without standby lights, the fish, you cannot preserve it. So we use light to preserve the fish. Mm -hmm. With lights, constant lights. It will help to prevent the and preserve the fish. Maybe then spoil or lights off for like three days. The fish will spoil, so you cannot allow light to spoil for at least one day. If lights should off one day, the fish will spoil. We don't have never lights here. Not it is a standby right? generator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the people they carry the fish come for sea and they put fire quick, quick. They, uh, nothing, nothing go enter again. Seafoods are preserved using various methods in order to attract monetary value. Oh, boo, that's for Katemi. A my coin, a talk by the essay, essay, do my benedi. Oh, I have a young, a domoyen, who boom. My domoyen, who boom. Oh, I have a my benedict, talk by the Aya Sana. A my son, I don't see you don't, but a I coin mong it walk, and yes, Sana. Hm, a bit a getting it. Oh, why am I getting him? A benin a car, a gay do care. A rooter, boy, say, come on, in one. Urame for the Medo de Miba. Who sent a year for no, or nothing, and for Comavasi? Who sent a year me for no nothing, and for so called Comavasi? I was in a car to make your idea in Yam Songura. Maybe first, you want to make the car, but make your idea, I will mum mum po. A year, I did a do, Ralph, a fellow. Oh, I find a yam and onion, so by the time you bend the Kaura. It might be a decaura. Maybe you need to be in Yam Songura. Monoda, my dear, are somewhere about a widdy maddy debian. So I am you make it as a way you made him may have fun. So for that, I for yard, do me when you ride round for me. You give one or you give Namdi. I for your ball. I am that's I've been in Yam, so that I bought one for the young folk. I say Tarao. A boy may say Tarao. You don't get free, you get said row. The rice water, in the micro boot on June. Oh, I think. No carco, no poker, sorry, and I'm for me, but I'm mong. You saw monks, you've been a lady, you know, you wake up. You saw my me, been a lady, you know, you eat your monkey bar. So, season saying, yes, ever. I go in, did I near Caricami? A game, did book a boy yabo. But a carco, I told you, we could ever. I know you came in the end of July, June, July, Tangami. I don't know what I need to do, but I don't know what I need to do. I don't know what I need to do because of this climate change. I don't know what I need to do. Fish is preserved by smoking, drying, salting or pickling. To store it for a long period of time requires one to remove the bones. Seafoods like octopus and squids are boiled roasted and dried over fire. Seafoods are used in preparation of meals like fisherman soup, crab soup, octopus stew, periwinkle broth, okra soup, as well as other foods. Fisherman soup is prepared with the following ingredients. Onion, 
pepper, prawns, palm oil, of a powder, seasoning cubes, hot leaves, popularly known as azusa, scent leaf, water, crayfish, catfish, and periwinkle. The necessary things you must do before preparing your seafood meals are soup crab pepper soup is prepared with ingredients like seasoning cube pepper salt onions crayfish and scent leaf cut off the pincers and use salt to wash the crab salt is used in order to remove sand rinse in clean water place it in the pot Add water, allow it to simmer, add pepper, this will remove the slimy taste and other from it for 3 minutes. Add desired seasoning cubes, crayfish, onions, salt and allow it to boil for 2 minutes. Finally add the basil leaf, stir, allow it to steam for five seconds bring it down your delicious meal is ready octopus stew octopus is eight limb non vertebrate aquatic seafood with eight brains it moves very fast in water and can easily escape from its prey because of the black ink it exudes during its preparation the scaly surface is removed because of its slimy nature and an edible white membrane is seen Octopus has a chalk-like substance inside it, which is used in shining jewelry and other fashion accessories. The octopus, if not properly prepared, could pose a threat to human health. That is why the ink is usually removed before preparation because of its poisonous nature.
preparation of periwinkle broth. Periwinkle broth is a quick food eaten in the south south areas of Nigeria. It is rich in vitamin A, which is good for eyesight because of onions and palm oil. And the periwinkle itself is rich in nature. And here is how to prepare your periwinkle broth. First, you wash your periwinkle onto the water turns white. You pour it into the pot. Add your salt, maggi, pepper, onions and mix it carefully. After which you place it on fire for one minute. You pour in your scent leaf, otherwise known as basil leaf. Mmm, your periwinkle broth is ready. Naturally, looking at a sea turtle, it looks like a bony sea food. But this misconception is not true. Sea turtles are a fleshy kind of seafood with a lot of edible brisket bone and is very nutritious. The only part of the turtle that would not be eaten is the shell. However, the shell can be painted and sold to lovers of at work. The only way to kill the turtle is by cutting the neck. Take out the flesh from the shell and separate the digestive organs from the meat and cut it into small pieces. The turtle meat has a lot of protein, little fat and is a rich source of vitamin B12, iron and potassium. Like every other uh, proteinous food, seafood contains a lot of protein. And you know we need protein to build up ourselves. And seafood contain unsaturated fatty acids that are good for the system uh, because uh, the, when you're taking unsaturated fatty acids, they have to be broken down before they can have the fatty acid that you need for the body. And that reduces the amount of uh, bad fatty acid that you have. So you, you, a lot of even the 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 the, 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 um, the meat itself is what is used in producing other uh, anim uh, other oils for pe people to use. So you can use, depending on what you want to use the fish for or the food for, you can process it and make it into other things that can make uh, human beings to live properly. Although diamonds are of great monetary value, the mining process are of great risk to the residents in the River Rhine area. <laughs> Mauro rang me na omega. Obo ko ko botu. Bere gbe be ni to yin o e kamba wo from abot. E do ko de kini o faro ya do. E ka na nya ma ba na omega nya. Ti da mi nge di gam po mi the first two months nki ko pide mi nem. Mfo fo 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 so na fong si po na ta to. Bere da mi nka me ke ari so na ba. Weeks of being exposed to sickness like pneumonia, cold, stench oil spillage which could cause the fish or seafood to become poisonous to human health thus poison risks of being high in cholesterol high in mercury level and the fish oil if not properly cooked can cause belching bad breath heartburn nausea loose tools rash or nose bleeding Seafoods generally, generally, as it affects human beings, depends on one, where the water that is food is, the location of that water, the amount of contamination of that water, and occasionally what is used in harvesting the seafood. These things could come to become injurious to man. The issue of mercury you are mentioning now could come, especially in Japan, during that uh, period of uh, Hiroshima and, uh, yeah, those, if you go into the sea of that area, you'll find a lot of mercury, and you know mercury is injurious to human uh, health. 
besides the bakery, there are other things that come, like the things that cause illness in human, like the bacteria, like the uh, virus, the pathogen, the, the other kind of pathogen, the parasites that are there, the helminths, the worms that are there in the, in, in the water. These foods consume them, and when you consume them, you also in, inherit these uh, pathogens into your system, and they lead to diseases. This could come from severe overwhelming infection. It could come from, you know, just uh, part of the system. If you if you have just a lot of worms and it eats about all of your blood in the system, it could come from uh, it could cause diarrhea or dysentery, and so many other things that could come as a result of poisoning of the food that you have eaten. Recently, uh, Osi Majo launched a toilet-free, uh, open toilet-free Nigeria. You no, know, the seas are contaminated by occasionally feces, and feces, you know, will lead to contamination of the water, and uh, you can get hepatitis A from that because the disease is from hand to water and to mouth, and you know these things are things that contaminate the water, and then the water, the fish taking this contamination and then they are transferred into human. Uh, another issue that comes with fish illness is that when the fish is not properly processed, preserved, cooked, if you eat raw seafood, you are likely to have more illnesses than those who have processed the food and eaten them. However, the benefits of seafood cover its bad side effects. Just like a teacher needs a student, a fisherman needs the fish, a chef needs ingredients, a barber needs the clipper, a miner needs the diamond, an infant needs bread milk to survive. So we need diamonds in our everyday life. Life is short. Live life well.